So one of my problems, even outside of quarantine, is that I don't like to cook and I feel like I've eaten everything that exists around me, like the, the restaurants and whatever. So it's like, I'm tired of buying Uber Eats and I kind of just want food goo uh, in order to, you know, not think about it. And so the closest I could come to food goo was Daily Harvest, okay? So they send you these smoothie cups with stuff, you blend it up and uh, drink it. I also have like harvest bowls and something else, but I will tell you what I eat and then I will give you a re review. Uh, this is pineapple and matcha. The ingredient list here is pineapple, kale, coconut, lime, matcha, and vanilla bean. I don't know what matcha is, but uh, I'm not a fan, I don't think. Um, my review for pineapple and matcha is never again. I'm convinced the people on this website are just like health nuts that don't know what good things taste like. Yum! This has been my favorite smoothie so far. The pineapple is bright and juicy, and although I'm not usually a coconut fan, I appreciate its inclusion here. Okay, so today's was oats, apple, cauliflower, pumpkin, seed, walnut, cinnamon, uh, oat bowl. A little bland, but not abhorrent. Next up is kabocha and sage. It's got cauliflower, kabocha squash, uh, leek, fennel, nutritional yeast, and sage. It is a flatbread. My review is it was a confusing journey from beginning to end, and I was more concerned about how many times I needed to chew to not choke than the flavor. I wish this taste was out of my mouth. Today was uh, watermelon and dragon fruit. Um, you can really taste the watermelon, but then it's got like an aftertaste that I don't really care for. It like smoothies up a lot better than the last thing that I made, but it just means it takes me longer to drink and I just want it to be over. Today was blueberry, raspberry, oats, mulberry, and dragon fruit oat bowl. Not bad. So up today was strawberry and peach, which contains strawberry, banana, peach, raspberry, oats, and goji berry. I thought, how could they mess this one up? And they couldn't, it was, it was pretty okay, which is a glowing review. Tonight's uh, delicacy is vanilla bean and cacao. Uh, ingredients are apple, chickpea, oats, cacao, maca, and vanilla bean. My review is why would you eat this on purpose. I'm gonna show you this before I eat it. It's cheese came in like, like, not pellet form, but like bricks. Uh, but not, not, not like, like a cheddar brick. It like, it's unnatural this color. Despite my reservations of the color of the cheese and the weird pellet form it took before being microwaved, uh, the broccoli cheese, which includes broccoli, cauliflower, sweet potato, tomato, olive oil, and nutritional yeast. Mm. Uh, my review is, I got to chew something, pro. I didn't like cringe the whole time, pro. Okay, so we have mango and papaya smoothie. Um, it's got mango, pineapple, Acerola, acerola. <laughs> I should have looked that up. Uh, papaya and macadamia. Um, I've had worse. I mean, it, it was actually, I mean, it started off a little tart, but then it's just like, it was fine. So, <laughs> it's fine. So I had a quinoa bowl, which it contained zucchini, quinoa, tomato, purple corn, mesquite, and chipotle. And it was not bad. It had a little bit of kick to it, a little, little hot. And uh, I dug it. It was all right. Okay, so today I tried cinnamon and banana oat bowl. I've been ick, avoiding this oat bowl just because ugh, the last oat bowl was so repugnant. Um, the ingredients are banana, oats, uh, butternut squash, cacao, cinnamon, reishi. Um, so I stopped halfway through. I think the cacao... I don't want it in my fucking uh, oats. <laughs> like, it gives me an aftertaste, and I'm just, like, questioning eating it at every step of the way, and I stopped about halfway to make this video, and I'm really considering going to McDonald's. I've not even finished eating this one, but I gotta get this just recorded before my hatred 
dies down. So this is cauliflower, spinach, basil, olive oil, cashew, nutritional yeast. The thing is called harvest bowl, cauliflower, rice, and pesto. I just... Har- Daily Harvest makes eating a chore. I'm eating shit and just thinking like, oh my god, can I even get through this? This is not how eating is supposed to work. So this is my final harvest bowl, thank god. Um, it's kale and kalamata. It has kale, cucumber, asparagus, phonio, kalamata, olive, kalamata? <laughs> I don't fucking know. Uh, almond. Um... It's not wholly objectionable. It's one of the least objectionable bowls that I've had. It's, you know, I think I'm going to be able to finish it, which is high praise. Um, But why would you eat it? Why would you choose this miserable life of eating daily harvest? None of it tastes good. It just exists. And I fucking... I have one more... I have one more of the smoothies. I want to just get this over, so I'm going to drink this right fucking now. I might not drink it all. I don't really care. So it's banana and greens. Banana, cucumber, spinach, kale, lemon, wheatgrass. Fine things. Things that make sense that I can pronounce, but let's see how it tastes. It tastes kind of banana-y. It's not totally objectionable. All right. You, you have Ended this little experiment on a solid D+. Plus. Good for you. What a, what a ride this Daily Harvest has been. My honest to God opinion is fucking don't eat this unless your taste buds are dead. The smoothies, I thought I was ready to just eat a smoothie and live that way. Because uh, I just wanted some sort of food goo. But... The reality is that sometimes it's fun to chew. (laughs) Nothing about Daily Harvest was fun. Nothing about it tasted good. It was easy, but at what cost? 